Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to show you how to harvest calendula and dry it in a food dehydrator. This is my calendula that I've been growing in a tote on my deck and it's been really hot here so it looks a little wilty but I watered it just a minute ago and it's starting to perk back up but it has been making flowers like crazy lately and I've been picking them and drying them in my dehydrator and it's working really really well so I just wanted to show you how to do that and I will say uh, of all the things I'm growing on my deck this is one of the things that is growing really really well for me so if you have small spaces and you're looking for something good to grow calendula is a really good option okay so what we're gonna do is I just have a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut the flowers I'm gonna cut them down to where this leaf is like that. You don't want to leave like a long skinny st um, stem sticking up like I did right here <laughs> because it can eventually rot if you're not careful. So it's better to cut it down. It's better to cut it down by where the leaves are <laughs> and then you can remove this excess stem before you put it in your dehydrator. So there's one and I'm just going to continue. So don't worry about cutting too many of the flowers. It's actually better to cut more of them because the more you cut, the more it'll bloom later. So don't be like afraid that you're gonna kill it by cutting too many of them. If you look on here, there's just like loads of unblossomed uh, little buds that are getting ready to bloom and then the next day or two, those will be blooming. So it'll keep producing. If you let some of your flowers uh, sit for a while they're gonna go to seed sort of or dry out here's like a seed pod and i'm gonna let this be dry i'm probably gonna harvest it soon because i want to save the seeds and you see i got a few of them here and these are where you can save the seeds and just have them to plant next year or if you leave them and let them do their thing it'll reseed itself like all over your yard so if you're doing this in like a container garden like i am it's probably best to save the seeds so you can plant them where you want them or you can just let them go it's up to you it's a good idea to let some of your flowers go to seeds so that you can save them for the next season Okay, so we harvested a bunch of our calendula flowers and now what we're gonna do is go inside and I'll show you how I dehydrate my calendula with my food dehydrator. All right, welcome to our basement. This is where we have our dehydrator because it's kind of loud and it drives everybody nuts and I usually have to have it on for like 12 hours so I just put it in the basement. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these in the dehydrator. Um, I am gonna break the stems off a little bit because I left them kind of long. So I'm just going to pop them off like this. Okay, so we're going to take the flowers and just stick them in here upside down. Uh, I didn't mention this, but you don't want to wash them before you do this because it will make it take way longer to dry them out. So if there's any bugs or anything on yours, sometimes there's like some little aphids on mine. I just bang, this, bang them on the side of something to knock all the bugs out and it usually works. And I'm pretty sure going in the, in the dehydrator will kill any bugs since they're going to get dried out. So I'm hoping for the best. I haven't seen any in my dried flowers. I do dry the whole head of the flower. I don't just pick the, the petals off because a lot of the medicinal properties of calendula is actually in this center green part. It's like it has the sticky sap and that's really uh, has a lot of medicinal properties. It's really good for your skin and stuff. My dehydrator has a setting that is at 100 degrees, which is perfect for drying herbs. You don't want to do it any hotter than that. Anywhere from like 90 to 100 degrees is good. So I'm going to set the time for 12 hours because they take a long time. And make sure it's at 100 and then just hit start. I'm going to let these dry for 12 hours and then I'm going to come check them and if they're still a little like sticky or if they don't feel totally dry I'll do them for maybe like eight more hours. You want them to be totally totally dry before you put them away or they can mold. 
All right, so here's what they'll look like once they've dried. These ones are from a batch I dried the other day. And I'm just gonna let them sit out on my table for probably a couple days just to really make sure they're super, super dry. And then I'm gonna put them in a mason jar and store them in there until I'm ready to use them. One of the main uses for calendula and what I love to use it for is just anything skin related. It's really great for rashes or burns or just like any kind of irritated skin. It's really good to put in any kind of like oils or something you wanna use for skin. And it has lots of other medicinal per or properties too. And I'll link below to some information you can find about calendula and all the great things it does. So I hope this video helped you figure out what to do with your calendula that you might have blooming in your garden or inspired you to grow some of your own because it is super easy to grow and a really great plant to have in your little like herbal apothecary. All right, so that's it for today and I hope to see you in the next video.